Hello and welcome back to Hyperplay. Win later 10.1 has just dropped on GitHub from the main man Bruno. This is the updated version to his Win later 10 hotfix. And YouTubers are getting excited about extra performance, including great performance on DX11 games running Vortec drivers as opposed to Turnip. So let's put that to the test because we've been playing Octopath Traveler 2, which is not only a DirectX 11 game but also runs an Unreal Engine, and we'll see whether we can get it working with Vortec instead of Turnip drivers, which will be useful for those who have potentially a low-end device one way or another. So we're going to GitHub and you'll have seen as we download the APK, fired up the APK, here's our first container and we're going to leave this largely as is with the Vortec graphics driver and the DXVK set to 1.10.3. Having a look at the other options and the first thing we do once we go into our container is install AJ Prefix. Now if you don't know about AJ Prefix it means that you can keep your save game forever. It keeps your save game in your downloads folder. It's not hidden away inside the mythical C drive of WinLater. So it does mean you'll be able to fire up your save games whichever WinLater version you use. It means you can chop and change and test different ones and you'll always have your save game. So yeah, AJ Prefix, we have installed it into our container and then we fire up Octopath Traveler. It doesn't work with the Vortex setting, despite the promises by other YouTubers on default settings, no dice loading Octopath Traveler 2. Trying again, tweaking a few settings with Vortex, still no dice. It's not until we go back to our tried and tested Turnip driver and we download the, uh, you can download inside the container, you can download Turnip driver 24.1. It's not until we go to 24.1 and DXVK 1.10.3, which is actually the default, and fire up Octopath Traveler that we actually find that it works. Um, so don't believe all the hype about Vortec Graphics Driver running your DirectX 11 games, which are notoriously difficult to run. But when you do eventually fire up your game, and it will be no doubt with the tried and tested Turnip Driver, and the DXVAK graphics wrapper. You may indeed find, like we did, that you get a good FPS and very stable gameplay. We thoroughly expected the game to be crashing while casting these spells. A look out for the break animations in particular. They were causing all manner of trouble on WinLater, Bionic, Ludashi and GameHub last night, but very smooth on WinLater 10.1. Good frame rates, no sign of crashing, and it's all running very smoothly indeed. So we absolutely ripped through this boss fight, no trouble, and that's the first time that without major tweakings of the settings, like I say, disabling DRI3 and uh, lowering the quality. That's what we had to do last night on WinLater Bionic Ludashi. We didn't have to do that this time. We just fired it up, Turnip Driver 24.1, um, spoofing NVIDIA GTX 1070, 1070 uh, DXVK wrapper 1.10.3. Uh, I think it was box 0.3.4 rather than 0.3.6, although I'm not convinced that makes a huge difference. And here we are, absolutely splendid. Win later 10.1 is definitely an upgrade, we would say, on win later 10 hotfix, because whilst that was pretty good, we did still get screen tearing. And uh, no sign of that at all on WinLater 10.1. So definitely worth upgrading your WinLater app and remember to use AJ Prefix if you want to maintain your saves across all versions of WinLater and you can even install AJ Prefix in the Game Hub container as well. It truly is a miracle to be able to load up your save game no matter which version of WinLater you've just installed. And we do recommend you go for WinLater 10.1. Any questions at all, do drop us a line in the comments. If you'd like more information on how to install AJ Prefix, for instance, do ask and we're happy to do a tutorial on that too. And we will be back soon with another video revealing the hidden secrets of GameHub and WinLater. So please do subscribe and stay tuned for that. All the best, take care and thanks for watching. Bye bye.